Mr. Spencer, by your own admission, you slept with Jason Morgan in August of last year. Nine months later, your son Jake was born. So I will ask you again. Is Jason Morgan, the defendant, the father of your son? My baby's father is my husband, Lucky Spencer. You seem fairly certain that Jason Morgan is not your, your child's father. Did you take a paternity test? Your Honor, how is any of this relevant to the disappearance of Lorenzo Alcazar? I've allowed this line of questioning because it goes to bias in favor of the defendant. However, the district attorney appears to be straying from the topic. Wrap it up, Mr. Lance. Did you take a paternity test? Yes. And it is your testimony that this test clearly indicates that it is Lucky who is your child's father. Yes. Yet you still maintained a relationship with Jason Moore. Jason is a close friend, as I have already stated. He's kind, loyal. He saved me and all the other Metro Court hostages, including your lover and stepdaughter, Samantha McCall. Just answer the question, Mrs. Spencer. Your Honor, with all due respect, Mr. Lansing didn't ask me a question. He made a comment which implied the worst about my friendship with Jason Morgan. And I would like everyone here to understand what kind of person Jason is. I was grateful when he risked his life to bring my son home to me after he had been kidnapped. But really, it doesn't surprise me that he did that because that's what Jason does for his friends. Yes, we're referring to the time that Mr. Morgan jumped bail on first-degree murder. Yes, and the fact that he was able to save my son's life when the PCPD couldn't even find him. Would you say that you are inclined to think the best of Mr. Morgan, maybe even be biased in his favor? Objection, argumentative. I'm sorry, I'll rephrase. Mrs. Spencer, has your testimony been accurate and truthful in regards to the visit that Mr. Morgan paid you on the afternoon of May 23rd and the phone call that he received while in your presence? Here is the truth once again, Mr. Lansing. Yes, Jason came to visit me in the hospital because he is my friend. And during the course of that visit, he received a phone call. He said he would take care of it, and then he left. End of story. That is what this trial is supposed to be about. And no matter how much pain you cause, or how many people you deliberately hurt, that is my statement. And nothing you say or imply or twist around is going to change it. Has Jason Morgan ever received phone calls in your presence before? Yes. Does he generally explain the nature of those phone calls to you? No. Mm -hmm. So other than the day at the hospital, has Jason Morgan ever received a phone call and then left? Yes. So it didn't, didn't seem unusual? No. To you? No, not at all. At any point before, during, or after that phone call, did Mr. Morgan say the name Lorenzo Alcazar? No, he did not. Thank you. No further questions for this witness. I do reserve the right to recall this witness, Your Honor. We've all had a very long day, and this seems the logical place to stop. You may step down, Mrs. Spencer. Court is adjourned until tomorrow morning.